Ask and you shall receive. Today on the Wellesley Wine Press, a uh, product review of the Soiree Wine Aerator. A few weeks back, I did a review of the Venturi Wine Aerator, a competing product to this one. And some of the comments that came out, uh, particularly from Heatstone, said that they uh, had seen a lot of wineries using the, the Soiree Wine Aerator. So I thought to give this product a try. I reached out to the folks that make the Soiree and said, hey, can you send me a sample of your product? I'd like to do a review of it. Guys are awesome. Andrew Lazarchek from Soiree, within a day or two, contacted me and sent me a couple of these for review. So that's why we have them here today. So I'm going to give it to you straight what I think of it. Um, for, I'm going to talk mostly about usability in this uh, in this review. I'm going to do a blind tasting uh, uh, against a number of aerators in the future review. But I really wanted to talk about this one, particularly in terms of usability. So here's how it works. It comes with a stand. And in the stand is the Soiree product. It's really kind of, uh, it's a one-piece device. It, on the base, it's kind of rubbery so that it'll stick into the bottle. This is an in-the-bottle aerator, whereas the Venturi is one that you hold and, and draw the wine through. So we take the Soiree, stick it into the bottle, kind of make sure it's nice and secure. It's not too hard. I haven't had too much problems with them falling out of the bottle or anything. And that's, the, that's all there is to it. So you pour the wine into the glass. And the Venturi and the and the Soiree, sorry, uh, stays in the bottle. So there you go. Um, the, the way the, the product aerates is really kind of three phases. First, when you're pouring the wine, there's wine collecting in the chamber, right? So there's some aeration going on there. When you really crank it upside down, look at the way the, the wine coats the, the the glass. It's really getting a lot of nice action in there. And then finally, the third part of the aerating is when it pours back into the bottle. So three ways that the device aerates, a little bit differently in the way it works versus the Venturi. So I've been pretty happy with it so far. Um, one of the decisions they made uh, when they were building the product was to, to make it out of glass. It's kind of like a heavy Christmas ornament, right? You look at the box that comes in, it feels like a heavy Christmas ornament. Uh, Andrew was nice enough to send me two, two samples, which was good because the first one that he sent, I accidentally broke it the first night I had it. It was on this base came apart from the, the stand, the stem came apart from the stand, fell over and broke on the counter. So something to keep in mind, uh, you know, I feel a little bit more cautious when using it around the kitchen th than I would if the device was made of, of plastic. The Venturi is made of, of, of plastic and it can't be broken. So there's one difference to consider. Uh, another difference to consider with a uh, on the bottle aerator is if you have a screw cap. So some screw caps are bigger. The opening is bigger than uh, a, a traditional cork enclosure. So you look at this bottle here, it doesn't stay in. So I, I noticed that pretty quickly. They have a, a little attachment that this goes into and th this goes into, but th this bottle was so big that even, even that didn't work. So just something to think about. It was the only bottle I came across in a couple weeks that, that was the opening was too big to be used with the product. But in terms of how it works, how it makes the, the, the wine taste, I mean, the whole idea here is that we're opening up the wine, making it more approachable, uh, accelerating the decanting process for aeration purposes. I, I'd say on, on average, it's working about as well as the Venturi. I've been doing tasting of all different levels of wine, and they're, they're, they're coming out about even. But like I said, the, the proof is in doing a blind tasting with that. And I'll be back in a few weeks, hopefully, with a, with a, a tasting, uh, blind head-to-head -head tasting of the Venturi, uh, no decanting, the Soiree, and uh, and we'll, we'll see we'll see how that looks. So I hope you enjoyed this review. This the Soiree Wine Aerator. Talk to you soon. Thanks.